Hello everyone. Welcome to the presentation. Today we are discussing about serial dilution methods and calculations. If you are new to this channel, please press the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified. So now you have done that. Let's get started. What is serial dilution? Serial dilution is a series of sequential dilution of a substance in a solution. So how to perform a serial dilution? To dilute a stock solution, mix the stock solution with a diluent. You can see here in this uh, image how a serial dilution is done. From the stock solution, 1 ml of the solution is transferred to a 9 ml of diluent which will give a 10 fold dilution. Likewise, we can do this serially. So that is called serial dilution. For a 10 fold uh, dilution or 1 is to 10 dilution, one part of the stock and nine part of the diluent is taken. What is dilution factor? The ratio of the final volume to the aliquot volume of the stock is known as dilution factor. Dilution is the inverse of dilution factor. Let's say 10 fold dilution is actually 10 to the power minus 1 dilution or the inverse of dilution factor. If you see uh, 10 to the power minus 1 is the inverse of actual 10 fold dilution. The dilution factor here is 10. Let's see some of the calculations and solutions on serial dilution. Let's say you want to dilute a 1 molar stock solution 1000 fold by serial dilution to a final volume of 100 ml. So how this can be done? To make a 1000 fold uh, dilution, it can be done by 10 fold dilution 3 times. So 10 fold into 10 fold into 10 fold will give 1000 fold. So let's see how to dilute 1 molar stock solution to a final volume of 100 ml. So as you have seen earlier, dilution factor is equal to final volume divided by the volume of stock. Since we need to do a 10 fold dilution, dilution factor is 10. 10 fold dilution 3 times. Okay. So final volume is 100 ml and x is the stock solution required. For the first dilution, dilution factor is 10. So dilution factor is equal to final volume divided by the stock volume. If you put it in this equation, we can see that 10x is equal to 100 and x is equal to 100 by 10 that is the volume stock volume required. So 10 ml of the stock is required for 10 fold dilution to make a 100 ml solution and the diluent volume required is equal to the final volume minus the stock volume. So our final volume is uh, 100 ml and the stock volume is 10 ml. So if you subtract from the final volume you will get 90 ml. So to make a 10 fold dilution, we have to add 10 ml of the stock to 90 ml of the diluent. To do a 10 fold dilution of 1 molar stock solution to 100 ml, mix 10 ml of 1 molar stock with 90 ml of diluent and label this as dilution 1. From dilution 1 tube, take 10 ml and mix 90 ml of diluent and label this as dilution 2. From dilution 2 tube, Take 10 ml and mix 90 ml of the diluent and label this as dilution 3. As we have done uh, 10 fold dilutions, tube 3 or the dilution 3 will be 1000 fold diluted than the stock. And the concentration of uh, the stock will also be less in the 1000 fold diluted one. So the dilution 1 will have 0.1 molar, Dilution 2 will have 0.01 molar and dilution 3 will be having 0.001 molar. So let's see how to do a serial dilution of a bacterial culture. Bacterial culture is generally serial diluted for plating, especially for bacterial isolation and other bacterial culture techniques and for re-inoculation for, or for other applications like checking optical density etc. It is done by mixing the bacterial culture with sterile water or any other sterile diluents. So here you can see the original inoculum is diluted uh, tenfold by adding 1 ml of the culture or the inoculum into a 9 ml of diluent. And it is further diluted 
by adding 1 ml to next 1 ml, uh, 9 ml of the diluent and it goes on. So you, you can see here uh, the dilution uh, dilutions are given 1 is to 10, 1 is to 100, 1 is to 1000 etc. So for plating from the each dilution 1 ml is plated onto a plate and which gives certain number of uh, colonies. And if you do, if you add a 1 ml from the 100 fold diluted, again you will get a certain number of uh, colonies in the plate. As in when you go down the dilutions, you will see uh, less and less number of uh, colonies in the lower dilution ones. Based on the number of uh, colonies on the plate, you can actually calculate the uh, stock concentration. Uh, let's say uh, number of colonies on a plate into reciprocal of dilution of sample will be equal to the number of bacteria per ml in the original stock. Here you can see an example, if 32 colonies are on plate of uh, 1 by 10,000 dilution, then the count is 32 into 10,000, that is 3 lakh uh, 20,000 bacteria per ml in the original sample. So once you do the serial uh, dilution and plate from each of the dilution, you, you will see a reduction in number of uh, colonies uh, as, as you go with the lower dilutions. Let's see uh, a problem on serial dilution of the bacterial culture. Let's say you have a bacterial culture which has uh, 10 to the power 6 bacterial cells and you want to make 100 cells per ml. How to dilute the culture to get 100 cells per ml? So the initial concentration is 10 to the power 6 cells and the final concentration required is 100 cells per ml or 10 to the power 2 cells per ml. You need to do 4 10 fold dilutions that is 10 into 10 into 10 into 10 to get 10,000 fold to a final volume of 1 ml to get 10 to the power 2 cells per ml of final concentration. So here, here you can do like this uh, stock of the bacterial culture is 10 power 6 bacterial cells and in tube 1 or the dilution 1 Take 900 microliter of sterile water in a tube 1 and add 100 microliter of the bacterial stock. So tube 1 will be having 10 to the power 5 cells per ml. Likewise, for, uh, make a tube 2 and uh, take 900 microliter of uh, sterile water into tube 2 and add 100 microliter from the tube 1 or the dilution 1. So the tube 2 will have uh, 10 power cell, 4 cells per ml. And make two, uh, tube 3 or the dilution 3. For that, take 900 microliter of sterile water in tube 3 and add 100 microliter of uh, cells from the tube 2. So the tube 3 will have 10 power 3 cells per ml. And likewise, for tube 4, take 100, 900 microliter of sterile water in tube 4 and add 100 microliter of culture from tube 3. So tube 4 will have uh, 10 power 2 cells per ml or 100 cells per ml. Hope you are uh, clear with the serial dilution and the uh, and the calculation on the bacterial uh, the culture dilutions and plating. If you like the video, please plus the like button and subscribe for uh, more videos and click on the bell icon to get notified. Thank you.